Microsoft Teams is supported by SharePoint Online. Every time you create a team, you get a SharePoint site underneath to store things like the files that the team collaborates on. But because SharePoint maintains its original permission structure, you can wind up with what we call shadow users. Those are users who have access to the SharePoint site, but are not members or owners of the actual team. This poses significant risk to your content because if you're managing through the team's permissions, you won't even know that someone else gave another user access to the site collection underneath. That's where Avpoint Insights for Microsoft 365 comes in. Let's see how. To access Insights, log on to Avpoint Online Services, and on the home page, locate and click on Insights for Microsoft 365. When you come into Insights, you always land on the dashboard displaying information for all of your various object types. That is, Microsoft Teams, SharePoint Online, and OneDrive. If we're concerned about shadow users, we really need to examine our teams. Because again, a shadow user is when someone has access to the underlying SharePoint Online site, but is not showing up in the team. Natively, this is difficult to see. You'd have to compare all of your members, owners, and guests for the team versus all of your underlying SharePoint permissions. In Insights, if we scroll down towards the bottom, we can see a summary for Teams, SharePoint Online, and OneDrive. And nothing here seems to indicate any shadow users. I see my number of teams. I see if I have any guest users in any of my teams. And we also, of course, see if there's any sensitive content. But if we switch to the Teams dedicated dashboard by clicking Microsoft Teams, and then we scroll down towards the bottom, we can see under Summary, again, Teams with guest users, but here we have Teams with shadow users. Scrolling down even further, I can see my highest risk teams, and I can see the total number of shadow users for each. But we see here that there's five teams with shadow users. To view them all, out to the right, click View All. This has taken us over to the Risk Analysis page, and it's filtered down now based on teams. Here we can see very clearly which teams have shadow users, highlighted in red. To view those particular users, click on that box. Now for this recording, I'm using a Microsoft demo tenant, which sometimes has some additional nondescript users. But here we can see very clearly that we have several named business users who have access via SharePoint permissions to the content for the team without actually being members or guests or owners of the team itself. If I click the arrow next to anyone's name, it opens up a separate tab up at the top where it provides me some specific information about what that user has access to. So here we can see individual documents, and if we hover over them, it tells us where those are, and I can see the permissions to the site collection itself. Off to the left of each of these, we have the little dot 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 button, and that gives you the ability to drill down to the permissions for that individual object, or view if there have been any activities on that object recently. For instance, I have a file here, and it's telling me that has unique permissions. If I go to the dropdown and take a look at the activities, I may want to see if anyone has accessed or shared that file recently. And we can see, yes, that file has been accessed and or shared. If I want to change the permissions, I can click View Permissions, and I can see all of the users who have access to that thing, either through their groups or who have been given access directly. Now for individual files, you may not want to go and edit the permissions directly, but I could potentially go in here and edit the site collection permissions. Remember, we had a user named Alan who had been given permission directly. If I go to the dot 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 for the site, we have the same two options, but also have the ability to view all the content with unique permissions. But in this case, I know Alan doesn't belong in there since he's not a member of the team. So I'm going to view permissions for that site collection. May need to adjust how many things we're seeing on the screen. And there's Alan. 
If I check him off and scroll back towards the top, you'll see that we have remove permissions. Now, something to keep in mind before I click this, shadow users are not necessarily always bad. It is possible that someone has permission to that content, but doesn't need access to collaborate through the team itself. So we're not saying that the nature of this is inherently bad. The nature of the way that this works, the mechanics that Microsoft has in place are bad. We're saying if you need to easily review if this is happening based on your own governance policies for any of your teams, and then if need be, make changes, this is how you can do it very easily right through Insights. So I'm gonna click Remove Permissions. It warns us what we're about to do, and I'm gonna click Remove. Successfully removed the permissions, and now if I scroll down, I no longer see Alan in the list. Now please note, back in Insights, it may take some time for these pages to update, so you may not see an immediate change to these numbers. But we could go out now to Microsoft 365, go to that SharePoint site if we chose to, and examine those permissions if we wanted to double check. If not, the next time Insights updates by reviewing the permissions in SharePoint, that will be reflected back on your Microsoft Teams dashboard. Thank you for watching this short video on how to identify and manage shadow users for your Microsoft Teams using AvPoint Insights.